Hey guys, Colin here, and uh, wanted to just give you this update on some uh, some technical analysis here for the Euro USD. We're talking about forex this time. Um, you know, I do both forex and crypto. Um, so in this case, though, um, just because I've been getting a lot of requests to do a few more videos with some analysis, let me just go ahead and draw something up for you guys here. First, let me. Go ahead and get rid of this Fibonacci level here. Okay, so guys, one of the first things you want to do, I did a video a little while back where I was talking about what this was this was going to do next. And it was, you know, kind of like in a little channel. I had identified a couple of lines, you know, something like something like that. And then initially it was actually kind of going up. Initially, it was going up like this, and I, I and I did a video here, and I said it look. I think it's going to bounce in between here for a bit, but it broke through that trend line that I had drawn up right here. So, since it broke through this trend line, the next thing that I looked for, let me show you right now. The next thing that I looked for was where is the next major area of support. And, you know, I don't, I don't watch the news. I don't need to see what reports come out, you know, to determine where a pair is going. I always believe that if you want to know uh, what's going to happen in the future, take a look at the past. The charts tell you everything. So since it broke through that structure, then I said, okay, what is the next major level of support? Where is this thing going to bounce off of? So if you just look to the left and we say, okay, where was the next very strong level of support? Let me, uh, let me draw it for you right here. Right here. Okay. Let me get these other lines. Let me get them out of the way. Okay. Now, why do I say that? Okay. Let me get, just let me get these lines out of the way right now. Just look at this, right? Now, take a look at this. What you're looking at is, you know, just imagine things being a ceiling or a floor, okay? So in having a ceiling or a floor, initially, um, to the left, every time this, you know, we had a huge run down, you see a huge bounce up right here. It went way up and it came crashing down again, then it, bunked just a little bit from this line, went up, came back down, bunked off again, went up, came back down, bunked off again, up, down, bunked off again. I mean, this is one, two, three, four, five, already five encounters with this particular support level right here. So when this, when uh, this actually broke through the initial line that I had here, I said, okay, it was already very low on the on the RSI. So it was becoming oversold, um, and I knew it was going to bottom out very soon. So if it was going to bottom out, where was it going to go? And look at this. That's no coincidence that it actually came down and went down right here to this level, this strong level of support that we had seen before. And then here we go. This is actually literally where I took a position. I took a position right here. And so I've been riding this wave up ever since. So as you can see, this is from 1.53, 300, just under 5, 400, and now we're up at 61, almost 6200. So we've gone almost, uh, that's almost 800 pips we've gone there already. Um, those of you who don't know, I do, I have a very simple course. It's pretty cheap too. Um, called you know how to make 500 to a thousand pips every week and as you can see this is what I've done in just 24 hours I've already gone almost a thousand pips I'll hit a thousand pips before the before 24 hours is up uh, just in a single day so so you know pay attention to that guys in terms of identifying support and resistance because those are key things to learn um, here was another line that I actually had drawn out quite some time ago and of course when we came up it kind of danced along this level for a while because this initially was also a level of support it hit there several times right so it kind of had to battle this had now it used to be a floor when we broke through it now it becomes a ceiling 
So before it breaks through, you're going to find it kind of hangs there a bit, it goes down, pushes back up against it, pushes back up against it, and then finally it broke through, and now we're headed up. So of course another resistance line that we see is going to be right here. Okay, and then if we break through that, we'll continue to push up, have little stops um, along the way like that, and as you can see, if we if we go this high, that is a very strong resistance line right there. Very, very strong. If it if it goes that high, like I said, there's still a couple other resistance points we'd have to fight through at this point. But you can see if we were to go that high, we'd be dealing with extremely strong um, resistance right there at that level. 1.174. But, you know, like I said, if you, if you can't caught that bounce, you're already enjoying, a, you know, great, great profits from, from that trade. Uh, the other one that I also did, I also took a position in, was the Euro Japanese Yen. Um, I took, I, I opened a position somewhere around here, somewhere around down here. Once again, looking at the same thing. Let's look at that. This was a support line. This was initially a support line. Once we broke through it, then it becomes resistance. So when it came up here, as you can see, it hung around that area for, I mean, got to be like four, between four and six hours. It hung around at that resistance line. It was trying to push through it, and now it finally broke through. So the next, next stop it's going to test is somewhere around right here, 6.11. And if it breaks through that, you know, it's going to continue to push itself up to about here. So you can always see these levels of support and resistance. And if you're just trading in between those levels, you'd be surprised how you pick up an extra 100 or 200 pips in between each of these spots. All right. So just wanted to share that with you guys. If you want to go ahead and take my video course, then go ahead and click on the link in, uh, in the description. Otherwise, until next time, guys.